Hello Rise of Flight enthusiast, Naked Squirrel here, and I'm going to give you a brief tutorial over the Mission Editor. Before I begin, um, there is a great resource on the Rise of Flight website. If you go to Community, Useful Materials, Mission Editor Lessons uh, are there, and you can get, there's 12 lessons, uh, go step by step on how to do just about everything in the Mission Editor. Uh, great resource, very detailed very useful. I'm not going to go over every feature in the editor. I just go, I want to give you a basic overview on uh, on most of the basic features and some of the important ones. Um, bef let's start with what's up here. If you haven't opened it up before, this is the mission editor. Uh, file, you can make a new mission, save, open files, import from file. That's important. Um, it's for templates. You can open up templates. If you go to data, under your Rise of Flight folder, data, template, you've got the capture the flag and team deathmatch missions in there. And you can open them up. Uh, it opens these group files. Group. Open them up, dissect them, look at them, see how they're made, and make your own. Uh, view. Right now we're what is in called ortho view. If I click here, I'll go back to the regular view which lets you look around and the mouse wheel will move you up and down and it basically allows you to see if you place an object uh, down on the map if if you're changing the altitude putting balloons in the air you can see how high it is so F9 will get us back into the regular view you can uh, search and select, select objects draw grids, eye context, tools uh, you've got an object filter here. You can select which objects you see in the map. You can do an integrity match check. Right now, our, we don't have anything in the map, so it's fine. Uh, but that's good for when you um, publish your mission to make sure everything it doesn't have any errors. Uh, edit the countries. Test, run unit tests, see if there's any AI loops. but. Um, Right now, let's go to Mission Properties. If we click on the mission, you can change a name, change it to My Super Mission. It'll change over here as well. Uh, give it a date, time, mission type. If it's a single mission for single player, cooperative for multiplayer, deathmatch, capture the flag. Uh, I don't use these down here. I just use single or one of the multiplayer options. Uh, the deathmatch and capture the flag matter quite a bit if you're doing multiplayer missions because they will change the the features that you see when you join the mission. You'll get a, a little mini map for capture the flag and you'll get uh, a, the scoring uh, for team deathmatch. Um, give yourself a name here under author, height map, textures, this is for changing if you want to change the map to a different one. Right now we'll just leave it at landscape. Um, you can change the season, but if you want to change it to winter, you do have to change the map as well, to a winter map. Uh, give it atmosphere options, change the temperature, wind speed, all sorts of, you can get really in-depth there. Uh, countries, you can change what side different countries are on. Give it a description, this is mainly for the server, this won't be for players. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Uh, let's start by putting a start our little mission by putting a plane down. We got a planes. Bring it 14. It's a big two seater. And we'll zoom in. You can see them right here on the map. Um, you hold control, and if you click, you can spin them around, rotate them. Uh, right now he's a he's not alive. Um, so to make him a live object in the game. Because right now he'd just sit there, he wouldn't do anything. We want to may have a create linked entity. It's a button right here under plane properties. Right click properties. Uh, plane, create linked entity. And you'll see his icon changes from gray to blue. That means he's, right now he's a, a live entity in the game. He will think, he will listen to the commands that you give him. Uh, and all the triggers that need to affect him will affect him. So, back to the plane. Double click for advanced properties. 
and see all the features we have here. To start, we're going to, let's make in French, uh, plenty of options you can play with. Right now, we're going to select start in air. Uh, so his engine's running and he's going to actually, when the mission starts, he'll be in the sky. We'll leave all the rest, payload and everything f as it is. Click OK. Oh, yes, French. And to start in the air, we're going to have to change his position, his y-axis. We're making 500 meters off the ground. And it likes to round the numbers off to point anything. Point 0.999 for this one. So right now he's almost 500 meters off the ground, and he's alive. So if we started the mission, uh, we don't have a plane yet, but uh, he'd, he'd circle around in the air aimlessly. Let's give ourselves a plane. Uh, we'll fight him. We'll be in an Albatross D5. Same thing. Create linked entity. We'll make him face D12, or the frigate. Uh, double click for advanced properties. The difference between AI and uh, a player is you go under AI in the links here and make it player. And this is for a single player mission. Um, or multiplayer, but right now we're just doing single player. So this would be the player plane. Make him German. Start in the air as well. If you want to look at takeoff and landing, it's, it's in that tutorial on the website. 500 meters off the ground as well. So same altitude. Just a couple kilometers away. Well, not even. Okay, so this mission would work, but it's pretty boring. Um, you'd be able to go and dogfight this two-seater, but we want more. We're going to give this... Uh, let's give the two-seater some waypoints and make them fly in a circle. 